What's going on guys, Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to another review video. So today we're talking about holsters, specifically we're talking about these two holsters made by a company called Falco. Uh, these guys are out of Slovakia, I believe, and uh, they they reached out to me, said they're celebrating 30 years in business, and they've got a new line of holsters coming out. So first of all, congrats to them for uh, the 30 years of business. And uh, the two holsters they sent out are both for the Glock 19, and they're right here. They are handmade leather holsters. Uh, this one is, you know, kind of your standard inside the waistband concealed carry holster. And then this one is more of an uh, outside the pant, you know, like threading a belt through uh, either. I think you can go concealed or like uh, open carry with this thing. Um, yeah, you know, you can, if you're wearing something big like a, like a hoodie or a coat or something, obviously I think you could uh, conceal with this pretty easily because it is sort of that paddle style. It holds it pretty close to your body, uh, but then you can obviously wear it outside as well, like for open carry or if you have to get the range, you want to shoot, you know, try some drills or something like that, or like a duty holster, this would work well. So uh, we're going to talk about each one just a little bit. I did go out to the range and try these out so you can see how they function from different positions, how the draw is and stuff like that, and uh, we'll go from there. So first up, let's start with this guy. This is their inside the pant holster as I mentioned. Now the first thing I want to say about these is when you get them you the the first thing that hits you is how robust they are. Now I don't have a ton of experience with leather holsters uh, but these stick out to me as being extremely high quality leather holsters. There is no doubt in my mind that these things could last lifetimes. I mean they're that high quality. Um, you can see just like how thick the leather is. Uh, the, the stitching is absolutely on point. They're, like It doesn't look cheap whatsoever. This clip there's no no chance of this thing coming off like this is a robust holster on top of that it's just a good looking holster um it's form fitting to the gun as you can see right here and uh yeah it's just a you know, it's a good look if you're into the, the into the leather style so because of the shape of this thing as i mentioned it is inside the waistband but you can wear it really anywhere you can wear it strong side you can wear it appendix you can wear a cross draw however uh best fits your style so i went out to the range and i tried drawing a couple times both from uh, strong side and appendix so i'll let you see that right here So yeah, I had a really good experience with this holster in terms of drawing and stuff like that. Um, pros, the draw was very clean. The other thing I like is how this retains its shape. A lot of the cheaper like leather holsters and just kind of cloth holsters and stuff like that will collapse when you draw, which means that reholstering becomes a pain. Uh, it's not a big deal when you're out carrying it for the day, but it is a big deal when you're doing drills, when you're at home practicing dry fires or out at the range or something like that. Now for the cons, uh, I only really have one con on this one specifically, and that is sort of the shapes. So as I mentioned, you throw this in here and it's very sleek, it's very small, it's form fitting, but on a lot of leather holsters, you'll see they have like a leather backer that comes out to here and here. And the reason I like that is because it kind of disperses the weight of the gun against your side. This one, because it's just this, this is what ends up kind of digging into your side. And uh, after a while, you definitely feel it. It's less comfortable than I think some of the other ones with bigger backers. The The positive side to this one is that it's it's not taking as, up as much real estate on your waist. Uh, the downside is that it's gonna be less comfortable over time. Um, now, it was a cold day while I was out there at the range. I was wearing thermals, uh, both bottom and top, and so I had like a layer between this and my body. I did notice that that was substantially more comfortable uh, than you know when I was the other day just wearing this with just pants and a t-shirt. It's a fantastic holster. As I mentioned, it's gonna last you a very long time. Uh, the build quality is absolutely on point. Uh, the, the draw is clean. It's a good holster. It's just gonna be a little bit less comfortable than some of those with you know a bigger backer to kind of disperse the weight. So let's move on to the other holster they sent me, which is this one right here. As I mentioned, this one is intended to be worn outside the pant uh, with a belt threaded through here. It does have a thumb brake up on top for a little extra retention and security. So, you know, when you're wearing it outside the pants or something like that, you've got a little bit extra something holding it in there. So when you draw, you do have to push down on this thing to release the button and then you draw the gun. Uh, I like that personally. If you're going to be wearing it outside the pant, I, I prefer something that has a little bit extra something over the gun, even if it's just to protect it from falling out. Falling out is certainly not something you have to worry about with this holster, by the way. It, uh, 
once again, it's very form fitting. And because of that, it's uh, it, it holds the gun in place extremely well maybe a little too well. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have a ton of experience with leather holsters, so maybe they need some sort of break-in period. But as you can see from my time at the range, I had a little bit of an issue with the clean draw. Um, the, the leather just seemed to be holding on to this gun a little too tight. And as I mentioned, maybe it's just a, a break-in thing over time that loosens up, but uh, I certainly did notice it kind of hugging the gun, which in turn pulled my belt up, which pulled my pants up uh, before the gun finally came out of the holster. So I'm gonna chalk that up to either user error or just needing to uh, break in a little bit. I don't know that that's gonna be a big con over time. The other thing with the thumb break portion of the holster is that in order to actually fasten this button, the gun does need to be pushed in very, very far into this holster, uh, which means when you draw, it's a little bit more difficult than I think if you, you know, if you didn't have that and it was just sitting kind of on top. So I guess that's good. It does force the gun all the way down into the holster, but it causes drawing to be a little bit uh, less clean, at least right out of the box. Um, but aside from that little con, I mean, the holster once again lives up to the same quality as the other one. It's extremely high quality. It looks good. Uh, the stitching's all on point. Materials are all absolutely on point. I did have a little bit of an issue uh, threading my belt through. Now I was wearing a very like robust, hardcore gun belt from Crossbreed. So maybe if you weren't wearing something like that, this would be a little bit easier. Uh, but I think if you're gonna be wearing this holster, it means you're like wearing it as a duty holster or wearing it out at the range to practice drills and stuff like that. So I feel like you're gonna have on a gun belt uh, so I mean it's not a big deal I did get it through it's just it required some finesse let's put it that way <laughs> to get this thing in there uh, but I guess once it's on it's on it's not going anywhere so that's solid um, overall I personally like this holster a lot more but I'm used to inside the pant holsters maybe so I don't know this is a, certainly a good holster and I think it works well if you're the type of person who who wants a little more comfort again you're sacrificing a bit of comfort here I think if it's you know during the winter months like it is right now you might wear this holster outside the pant and then just wear a big winter coat even when you're concealed carrying so yeah that is all i've got for you on these two holsters honestly i've been pretty happy with them if you're interested in falco learning more about them seeing what other products they have uh their information is down in the video description below make sure to check them out good quality holsters man pretty stoked uh anyways thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if so hit that thumbs up button let me know what other kind of products and stuff you guys want to see on the channel we'll try and get them on here uh subscribe to the channel if you're not already and we'll see you next time on green light shooting